All right, today I'm building <coughs> side rails for my truck so we can haul firewood. So I took the, the shell off, <coughs> but I want to be able to stack quite a bit more firewood on there um, and not have this in the way. So I'm hoping this will be sturdy enough. I'm taking two by fours. I'd trim these down. I only have two slots in the ends of the truck and they're not a full three by two by four, the three and a half inch width of a two by four. <laughs> they're more like uh, two inches. So two and a quarter maybe. <clears throat> and there's only two of them. So <clears throat> as you can see there, I placed one in on that end. That center piece is just a support. And then that one also goes into the slot on the end. Um, <clears throat> and I just use three two by fours. So my most important measurement is this guy here, the inside here to the inside here so that I make sure those are perfectly spaced apart so that they slip down in the slots and they go down. Um, they go down six and a quarter inches. So I'm a little nervous about the strength of that stem down in there holding a lot of wood. So I think I'm gonna put some eye bolts in here and then I'll put a ratchet strap across once I have wood in there and put a ratchet strap across just to hold the strength of it. I might come back and trim this, like trim into this a little bit and then screw in a sturdy uh, uh, um, strip of, of metal so that those are more sturdy there. I'm not sure if I want to do that or not. It's, it's pretty sturdy and I don't think there's going to be just wood sitting in here is not going to snap that off but if like a log rolled down and hit it it might snap it off but I think with those ratchet straps on the eye bolts nothing's going to move so it should be just just fine so I'm about to replicate the other side and I put this together with screws just two inch screws um, just to hold it in place and make sure it was right. And now that it's on there, <clears throat> I'm going to drill my holes and, uh, in each place here in nine places and send a sturdy bolt through <clears throat> with a nut on the inside and a lock and lock washer so that I can, and then that'll be firmly in place. But before I bolted it, I wanted this sitting in place with just these screws in to hold it together. Sturdy, but obviously not permanent. So those bolts will solidify everything. So. All right, I got the second one built and that one dropped right into place as well. Again, the most important thing was having this inside and that far inside because those are the two stems that drop in exactly the perfect space apart took a little bit of wiggling and adjusting and this one was like there's a piece of metal down in here it was catching on and i had to really w wiggle it and jam it down in there but there's some still some play in there so. and again with those eye bolts on top in the four corners and maybe even in the middle with ratchet straps i can probably round this out and put a significant amount of wood in there so it'll be good I'll film once I go buy my bolts all right so I bought four inch bolts um, and put a large washer on one side large washer on the other a lock washer and then a lock nut. Um, the three inch, three and a half inch bolts just weren't gonna be, no, they're three inch, three and a half inch bolts. They just weren't gonna be long enough. I mean, I think I would have been missing about an eighth of an inch of space to tight cinch them down. So I, 
I don't like that they stick out this much, but you can see from this angle, they don't stick out into the bed too much. And I don't think they'll be too annoying. But I've drilled all the holes with a 3 8 inch bit um, here. And then I've got these four inch they're four inch and what I did is I put them together and then laid them on the counter at the that had the <clears throat> measuring the ruler on the counter at Ace Hardware I just made sure they would fit right and this is the best combination I could find with these large washers on each side so should be pretty pretty nice so solid. with all of these bolts in now, all nine of them on each side, I'm now mounting a brace. If I would thought ahead, I would have done something off these stems. But I'm going to mount these in here. And that will allow me to tie these together with ratchet straps so that they don't flop over. Um, I'll go from there. So I'm going to put these in. And these are half inch eye bolts. Actually, I didn't think about that. I just drilled three quarter inch. I'm going to have to re drill those holes. Dang it. Okay, those are in. One in that corner, one on the end, and then same thing on this side. And so that should. With a big washer, lock washer, and a lock nut. Those shouldn't go anywhere. Um, and this is all super solid. Um, so these stems should be fine, I think. And then I'll just, probably with a ratchet strap, just lock them just slightly, not very tight. Um, across a load of wood and that'll keep them just solid so I think that'll work great and it'll give me a, that whole height of the bed I'm gonna buy some half inch I was gonna build a unit that would sit across and latch in somehow to those and I might do that down the road but I think what I'm gonna do is just put uh, buy a half inch piece of uh, OSB 4x8 and then cut it and then I might cut a window into it and put some poly in or something and then I'll just pin it against there and then as I stack wood like I'll lay it down in the bed and then when I throw it up there and stack wood in here it'll protect everything and I mean I at that point I don't know if I need the window or not but just in case I have a lower thing of wood it'll be there so I think that'll protect my window for now. So pretty slick, nice project. I've been thinking about it for years and I finally did it. So I'm glad.